All right, get ready for a full in-depth analysis tour. If you're not ready for a full analysis, then you probably want to stop watching this video because that's that's what's about to happen. Um, I'm going to start by saying <clears throat> I'm going to say our apartment in terms of being finished is at probably 70 percent. 65 to 75 percent, actually. So there's going to be a number of things I'm going to point out that are definitely not finished. It's starting right here, actually. Um, but just just know that uh, these are these are these things are not lost on me. And again, I'll be pointing them out as we go. So first, starting in the bedroom, and unfortunately, I don't have an iPhone Pro, so I can't do a wide angle. So I kind of have to pick and choose my what we're looking at. But here's my current desk. It's the seven ninety nine top with two ten dollar legs for a total of twenty eight dollars roughly. Um, this is where I've been sitting and working. Um, and this is the bedroom, and this is our view out of the bedroom. We're on the third floor. Um, this tree is here, and this is where my smaller bird feeder is, uh, right here. And this is a problem that I have to take care of. The birds defecate on the sill, which long-term will cause damage and be difficult to clean, so I have to take care of that. Um, but yeah, so here's art example, not hanging on the wall yet. Um, but yeah, so this is the bedroom though. So fairly high ceilings. Um, we actually have the, a full size bed that as you can see is partially in the closet. Um, and you can see we have these French doors that lead into the living room. So this is the, this is the bedroom. This has worked out really well seating wise. Um, there's quite a bit of space to walk here. There's Lindsay. This is uh, this is Nick and Kevin. It's not them yet. It's a video. So it's a time capsule. Don't mention things like morning if you can help it, because it could be afternoon when they see it. But like like look, this is a framed view, right? But it's nice. You can see it feels very open. And at night, of course, we leave these doors open. And um, yeah. So this is the bedroom. Um, I guess, now just to orient yourself, we could go two directions. We could go, by the way, here's a table that Lindsay's dad made for her, um, but it kind of reminds you of like uh, uh, the UP. So anyway, I think of you guys when I see it. Here is a closet, so we could go this way, and that leads into the bathroom. Um, but I think I'm gonna go the other way actually. And go first into the perhaps slightly more exciting living room area. So here we are in the living room. Here are some couches we just bought. Um, they're quite nice, I think. You already saw them, so I probably don't need to spend too much more time. Um, I'm gonna move away now to the corner here. Um, Alexa, turn on everything. So you'll notice that this light didn't turn on yet because these are the like GU10 bulbs or no, E16, whatever, they're the candelabra bulbs, but so whatever. Um, getting back to the tour, this is the living room. You can see our nice windows. I guess maybe I shouldn't focus so much on those because we've already seen those. Um, all the heating, unfortunately, is this electric register heating. So there's one here, one in the dining room, one in the bedroom, but like if you turn them on, apparently the bill will go up to like 500 bucks. Um, so probably won't be using those too much. Um, yeah, there's a fan here that works quite well, crown molding. Um, the apartment's like 100 years old, so um, yeah, I love, I love the French doors or whatever. Here's our built-in cabinet. So one feature of this apartment that I, I helped to sell me, um, this is again an example of the 65 to 75% thing, like this isn't all obviously going to, to stay like that. Um, Alexa, turn on plant, Let's see if that works. Yep, oh, there you go. But we do have everything, don't be misled, everything is hooked up to, to smart speakers or switches of some sort. But anyway, getting back to it, so the person who lived here before built in this little built-in closet um, or cabinet shelf thing, um, 
I mentioned a downside, which is that we can't install smart speakers, speak, or switches without replacing that. And then also we'd need to replace this because there's another one of these over here. But it's nice because they're, they're glass, as you can see. So the light, that's of course, I think intentional and a design choice so the light travels down. Um, and we have the books now at the bottom so that the light doesn't get blocked out by them. And we can put little knick-knacky things here. Um, here's a fun fact. This cup is from the 1960s, apparently. And this is uh, Princess Kaguya from, um, from the, she's like the town mascot in Koryo the city we lived at in Japan. So that's a fun, fun fact. Um, here's again another example of the, of course, 65 to 70%. We, these cords might all go under here. The only thing we need to have plugged in is the coax cable, so that can fairly easily get hit under a couch. Um, but I'm thinking, we're thinking right now that we're going to have a, um, a bed, or not a bed, I'm sorry, a table there for Lindsay to work from, potentially. Um, so, Fire escape out there. This rug will get replaced with a uh, higher pile, uh, softer rug. And we're gonna have a kotatsu, a Japanese table with a heater there. And it has like a blanket that you put into it. So when it's cold, um, we'll sit on the comfortable rug with under the kotatsu to have coffee and dinner and stuff like that when friends come over. Um, yeah, I think I started saying that there's plugs everywhere. I, I, I'm rambling a little, of course, but um, yeah, the person who lived here previously put in these shelves, but they also put in a bunch more electrical outlets, which in an older apartment like this, of course, you don't always have. Um, so yeah, so this is the, this is the, uh, the living room. Now here's the dining room. Now don't be shocked to learn that there's also old... French doors here as well from both sides. I won't open them both, but you can open these to give like a little more of a closed feel here, but um, we just have been keeping them open and probably will most of the time. Um, there's Lindsay, she's working at that table. You already said hi, could be afternoon, nobody knows. Um, but yeah, this is our table, which we got on Craigslist, of course, along with the couches. It was $100, it's the Norden. It's an older model Norden, actually. I think they um, they stained it. The newer model Norden has a very thick polyurethane on, which makes it difficult to stain, but I think the old Norden did not. And so I'm fairly positive they stained this a darker color. And it looks pretty good in, that, in here, I think. Um, so yeah, again, more natural light, though not as interesting of a view. Though there is some green, of course, on the left. Um, these are kind of nice, all these built-in closets or built-in little cupboard things. Um, that, we, that mirror, is that mirror just like permanently like that, I wonder? Yeah, see what they're, what in there, I don't know. I think we, we can check and see if we can get it off. I don't know what it is though. It's the same in our bedroom or in our bathroom. It doesn't feel it's like old. something that can come off. I think the mirror is just old, yeah, yeah. which is kind of too bad. But anyway, it's actually not, not, I mean, actually you always do notice it, but. You just don't like too hard at it. Um, so yeah, so this is our little, for now we have sheets and stuff in there. Again, that's probably like a 65 to 75% thing. Um, yeah, games, lots of great games in there. Um, then I guess we'll take a quick look from this view. So to orient us, of course, dining room, which won't be permanently Lindsay's desk most likely, but we'll be either in this corner, maybe. We're, con we're considering putting a desk here because these leaves go in, so then you get quite a bit more room. And potentially, the, if we put a desk here, then even though it might be a bit of an eyesore with like a monitor and stuff like that, there's some natural light, though not very exciting for Lindsay. But importantly, potentially, from this room, you couldn't necessarily see it then. So when you're kind of like hanging out at night in the in the living room, you wouldn't see the desk. As opposed to if we put it here, which is a much nicer spot, then of course, Lindsay's always gonna have her desk sitting like in the living room right in front of her. So that's one of the discussions. Um, anyway, um, here's the kitchen. So um, I have 
covers for these so guests don't accidentally switch them on and off. But of course, all of the lights are controlled by switches. Um, and they're all smart light bulbs, including the pantry. So this is our pantry. Um, this is actually one of the more useful reasons, in my opinion, for a smart light bulb. I hate these pull cord things. So now, of course, there's a switch that you just turn on. Um, yeah, we've got to get a rice container. Fun fact, this rice here is from Japan and specifically from Korea. So I brought that rice as well as this rice cooker home from Japan. But not only is it from Japan, maybe I actually just said this, but it's literally from the town, that, the small town that we, we lived in. So it's kind of cool um, for me. Um, but yeah, our shelves here, um, sort of anchored in with this, uh, you know, not exactly safe anchor system. Um, but yeah, not much really to say here. Um, this is recyclables, recyclables, cans, and I think cardboard, and then bigger pieces of cardboard. The broom I don't love having in the same closet as our food it seems sort of weird to me, so I might... I might advocate for us to put that in the shoe broom, the shoe closet kind of thing where dirty stuff is. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to fight for that. But anyway, um, here is the kitchen. So again, as always, fairly high ceilings. Like uh, just, you know, you, you know, I can't touch this for whatever it's worth the top of this light fixture. I'm uh, on my tippy toes, I can. But anyway, so it's fairly high ceilings, which is nice. Um, here's the table, and this is the table I built, I don't know if you guys remember, probably, maybe, but, um, first welding project, so pretty happy with how that looks here. Um, fair amount of counter space, not a ton. Kevin, definitely jealous of your center island thing. Um, this takes up a fair amount of space, but this is one of the things I said I really wanted in a new apartment, is I want to have my, uh, KitchenAid mixer out all the time. So that uh, if I want to bake, it's there and I have to like go get it out of somewhere. I just quickly put stuff in there and use it. Um, it's a bit weird. The apartment's old, of course. It's like a, over a hundred years. I think I said that. So maybe not, but either way. So like the, the windows and stuff like that there is like, it's just weird, you know, but it's fine. Um, yeah, we have, well, this is something we bought full price from Ikea, but I think it's well worth it. Um, you can't actually open, you can open this, but it doesn't, the, the fridge doesn't open it. So, um, yeah, not much else to say here. Gas stove, unfortunately, or yeah, gas, gas range, gas stove also, which is, which is not ideal. Um, Alexa's of course everywhere. Um, yeah, and over here. It's like a little pantry area, I guess. Again, not super interesting out this window, but it's really nice view overall, natural light and stuff like that. Um, everything's in pretty good shape. Like, like this isn't like this is obviously not perfect, but it's like a, again a hundred year old apartment. And overall, like the windows and the floors and everything are were well taken care of um, for being a hundred years old or ever. I don't know if you noticed, but there's like all these like. Uh, wooden inlays everywhere, which I think look quite nice. Um, let's see, so here is the, don't, don't mind this, let's just turn motion sensor to turn these lights on. This is definitely temporary. We just found this downstairs yesterday and took it up. It's for like to get an idea of space, but we might keep it for a bit. Honestly, it's pretty ugly, but uh, it is a good size for this area. Um, we have this uh, closet here, which is currently full of random stuff. A makeshift projector screen until we get that sorted. Um, a new cloth projector screen, which will go up or be attached to PVC and probably still stored in here so that we can quickly kind of bring it out into the living room to set it up if we want to watch TV. Um, but yeah, we have a storage space downstairs for free that we can put most of these boxes in most of these are currently filled up with either cords for like networking stuff or electronics project stuff and like woodworking project stuff so um yeah a lot of that's probably gonna end up going up here so that i can access it um or potentially in the 
closet, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, this is a bit of a, a bit of a mess still. I've got more light bulbs. I bought those used on eBay recently, so. Um, yeah, so to orient ourselves and to mention another feature I like, you can go through, when you come into the front door, which is where I am here, it's where this is, you can go sort of choose your own adventure. You can go into the, you can go directly into the dining room. You can go directly into the living room or you can go to the bedroom via the bathroom. So you can basically get into any of the rooms without going through all of them, if that makes sense, which is actually going to be useful for calls. Because for example, if Lindsay does one advantage of her setting up a desk here is that I can then go from the bedroom where I'm working, skip over the dining room where she is and then go directly or skip over the living room where she is and go directly into like the kitchen, for example, to get food without walking in front of her when she's on calls with kids. Um, but yeah, so this is the bathroom, probably one of the least exciting rooms. Um, but, uh, we do have, of course, smart switches, which is great to have. This was another situation where I thought it was actually kind of useful because, uh, European style, the, in like the UK, there's, you can't have like, like switches like this for old houses, I guess, inside the bathroom or something. So I think maybe that's why it's like this here. But the point is, if you wake up in the middle of the night and come through here, it's nice to be able to just hit the switch here on the wall as opposed to going out there and turning it on. Minor thing, but um, no fan in here, which by the way, also no oven hood. Um, so that is that is what it is, I guess. Um, another fun fact, um, this shower curtain is on a slight angle. Um, and it's quite low to the ground, which isn't ideal. The also kitchen or the bathroom sink is a little strange because there's very little space to put anything here. So we have like one charger and then we just store our bath or our, uh, the other chargers or whatever, or the other toothbrushes around there. And then like a little closet for, or whatever this is called. I don't know if it's a closet, it's a little shelf thing, but. And then finally, um, we have this little, our like closet, dressing closet, which is sort of weird again, um, but quite high and there's quite a bit of space in here. So dirty clothes, this is where my shirts go. And then we have this little built-in um, closet or like dresser thing, um, a window going out to a, you know, a space that you can't actually get to because it's all painted shut and stuff. But yeah, more clothes, camping stuff, all that kind of thing. Um, the toothbrush that I fumbled the words for before, glasses. Um, and then that goes back into here. Of course, not before having a, another smart switch to turn off and on the lights. Um, and that's it. And now I'm late for work. So I'm gonna go work. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. And thank you very much for for uh, for for taking this tour with me. Okay, much love. Bye.